The Map by Ruba Kiwar Chapter 4 World Fundamentalism – The Unseen Practices People Groups Ralph Winter dropped his bomb at the Lausanne Conference in 1974 when he presented his evangelical methodology and encouraged for people to give special care for the specific geographic regions by focusing on the society groups. He said that we shouldn't look at the society as one coherent element, but we should be looking inside the society to the individuals that have similar characteristics and attributes, and to divide them into groups making the process of reaching them easier. He called these groups people groups. Winter presented three types of evangelism, naming them E1 to E3. E1, evangelizing the, of people of the same culture, example, sending a Jordanian missionary to evangelize in Jordan. E2, evangelizing societies that are similar culturally, example, sending an Egyptian missionary to evangelize in Libya. E3, evangelizing cultures that are distant, example, sending a white American missionary to evangelize in the tribes of Africa. The most effective way for evangelism is to send missionaries from the same race and culture. How many hidden people exist? Hidden people are those who do not know the gospel and who are not known to the evangelicals. Dr. Ralph Winter called them the hidden people, not because they are hiding themselves, but because the Christian missionaries haven't reached them due to geographical reasons, usually because the political laws in those countries or not knowing the language spoken there. In 1980, at the Edinburgh Conference, it was assumed that there are around 16,500 people groups, but it was narrowed down to 12,500 unreachable people group. Every people group was given a social number for identification. Informational tables were used to collect as much data about each individual people group. These data collections were uploaded on special websites so the Christian missionaries could benefit from it as a helpful resource. Below is a simple example that chosen for the Iranian Afghani to show how big the project is and how much effort was put in it. During the next 30 years after the two conferences that were held for people group evangelism, many websites were created that are specialized to study the people groups such as the Joshua Project. The viewer can choose any country on the map in order to find out the population, the population of each people group, religion, language, and the rate of evangelism process, etc. One country is not treated as one coherent people group, but as multiple people groups that live in one geographical region in spite of the missionaries' dealings with each individual by caring for personal stories. Studying the people groups made it easy for them to reach each group that have a similar look, race, traditions, and language. Missionaries take into consideration their extent of receptivity to the gospel. There are three main websites that show the latest statistics of evangelism among people groups. www.worldmap.org www.joshuaproject.net www.peoplegroups.org in the following picture is the country of Jordan from the Joshua Project website, which shows the people groups in their society, their religion, and the rate of evangelism in each group.